California has long you. had a designation it's not proud of. It's listed as having some of the highest rates of child sex trafficking in the nation. But did you know sex trafficking of, trafficking of children is not classified as a serious felony? State lawmakers are weighing a bill that would do just that, making the sex trafficking of victims under the age of 18 as a serious felony, which places it under the state's three strikes law, increasing prison time for repeat offenders. Lawmakers initially clashing over the bill before it cleared the state Senate. However, it now faces a committee hearing next month. Joining us, the lawmaker behind this bill, California State Senator Shannon Grove, a Republican whose district includes Bakersfield, which I, of course, have driven through many times on my treks home to Sacramento from Los Angeles. Thank you for being with us, Senator. First, I have to ask, what was the initial clash over? Why was it a challenge to get this passed? You know, sometimes that's a hard question to answer because if you asked any Californian um, if they wanted to make sex trafficking, selling children for sex, a serious felony in this state, I think every one of them, regardless of party, would say yes. The clash came because there's an ideology in the public safety assembly that do not want to put people in prison regardless of their crime. And um, I think there should be an exception for selling children for sex. Yeah, commercial coercion, uh, the selling of people's bodies. Uh, this is something that's gotten a lot more attention since this movie Sound of Freedom came out, but it's had a lot of attention for years from both Republicans and Democrats. I've attended many fundraisers where the cause is to stop sex trafficking. What do you think, why has it taken so long to even put something like this on the books? We're in 2023 and no one had presented any bill to make this something that would be classified under California's three strikes law? Exactly, so we tried a couple of years ago and the bill failed to get out of the Senate. And then we tried again because we had survivors and survivor organizations and law enforcement and several organizations that came and stood with us during this trial period that we went through. 66% um, of the individuals trafficked are minors and California is a hotbed for human trafficking. With the movie Sound of Freedom and awareness just rising, it's beyond, again, uh, my comprehension that we cannot get this bill out of the assembly to the governor's desk for his signature. And you've given uh, the exact reasons why Democrats, uh, those who don't agree with you in terms of party affiliation, have concerns. They, they think it promotes over-incarceration. Uh, there are concerns that victims who cooperate with law enforcement could be potentially prosecuted themselves. But in terms of repeat offense, uh, is there an age limit that you're seeking there? I mean, does the offender have to be somebody over the age 18 or or in some cases would someone who has participated in child sex trafficking who is a, still a teenager themselves would they still be tried under the same serious felony classification no um the bill is very very narrow and it is only a serious felony not a serious and violent felony uh, violent felonies you don't have um the same protections that you do is just a serious felony, but the serious felony still takes uh, the strike offense, uh, you know, in a place where you can re have repeat offenders that will be prosecuted. This bill narrowly targets repeat offenders. So if you sex traffic a minor and you go to prison for the maximum sentence in today's California law of 12 years, and because of good time credits and, and, and criminal justice reform, you get out in less than four. If you go on about your merry way and become a productive member of society, my bill doesn't touch you. This is about repeat offenders of selling children for sex. Okay, one more question for you. This bill is now in this suspense file. What does that mean? And then second, has Governor Gavin Newsom responded or spoken at all about this particular legislation? So yes, the bill is on suspense in the Appropriations Committee. The argument there is that it costs too much money to put people in prison, roughly $128,000 a year. But the arguments we made is that the analysis didn't even take into consideration the cost of, of the survivors and what the state pays for victim services, for um, housing, for mental health, all the things that are traumatically affected on these minors that the state would have custody over and, and providing services for. They didn't even do an analysis on those costs. Again, my, some of my Democrat colleagues just want to make sure that no one goes to prison. Uh, back in the Assembly uh, Senate Public Safety Committee, the governor did weigh in 
Um, he did express his disappointment in the failure of that bill. That's a very rare thing for him to weigh, weigh in on current legislation. And that's what I think opened the curtain of what was happening in the Public Safety Committee and the bills that are actually dying um, that are good public safety policy in the state of California that just go to die in this particular committee. Okay, but, but yeah. this bill is still alive and we're going to wait and see what happens after it gets out of this suspense file. We hope it does get out of the suspense file. If they don't take it up, then it'll sit there until they do, which okay. could be the end of the session and it would die. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.